Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a static block and add it to a page in Magento 2. So first you're going to have to log into your Magento 2 admin panel and then you're going to select content and then blocks. Next we're just going to click the add new block button in the right hand side. Alright now you're just going to uh, choose a title for your block. And then select an identifier. Uh, it should have underscores in it to separate it. It won't accept spaces. Um, then you're going to select your store view if you want it to be available in all store views or just default store view or whatever you like. So I'm going to select all store views and then change your status to enabled. And then you're just going to enter some sort of content. that you wish to appear on your static block. And obviously this is just a very simple static block with just writing, but you can do much more advanced things with these static blocks. But for today's purposes, I'm just gonna keep it simple. And now you can just save block. Now you're gonna go click content again, and now you're going to click pages. Now here are my pages. I'm going to be adding this static block to the home page. So I'm going to go to the right hand side and click select and then edit. Now I'm going to go over and click content. And in these little icons, you'll see insert widget as being one of the options. So you're going to click that. And here you can select which type of widget and I'm going to select CMS static block. And we're just going to keep it as the CMS static block default template. And now I have the option to select my block. Now I named it Colin Sarper block two, so I'm going to select that. And now I just click insert widget. So now that is inserted into that page. I'm just going to delete the home because I just want my widget to show. So now I'm just going to click save page. And now I'm going to go check that it appears on my home page by going to the front end, refreshing the page, and there's my new static block. Pretty simple, but you can make it much more complex. And uh, yeah, I hope this video helps you out. Um, be sure to check out Collins Harper for best in industry Magento web development. And also check out our Collins Harper blog for new updates and videos. Uh, thank you very much for watching.